Hey, lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of GTA 4. I'll look after you, Kate. I promise I'll protect you. There's nothing else I can say. Wonderful! Oh, <laughs> I did it! Ah! Oh! Mr. Pegorino. I'll see you there. Okay. Sure, we don't need the, the incident that happened did. last time. <laughs> or a couple times ago, but you know what I mean? Okay. Hello, lady. Ince. Nico, it's good to see you. And you? How are you? Uh-uh. Fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. <sighs> you get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No. Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you. I looked out for you. And I'll pay good. Real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. No. We've got history. I know. But this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance! Then good luck. No! I need you to get that H. I need the money. I looked out for you, you know, people wanted to whack you, I said no. Now I need you, and I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino, I already told you. I got no, history. No! You listen, you dumb immigrant fuck! I ain't asking you, I'm telling you, do this! Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. No. <laughs> What? Dude, you and me are gonna have a problem. Look, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you down in Tudor. Aren't we in Tudor already? All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? I love how these girls are dancing. There's literally nobody in here. They're just. They're just dancing. They're like, we just enjoy this. We don't do it for the money. Phil? Roman, I have a problem. You got the problem, Nico. I'm about to get married. I'm about to commit to one woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two had resolved your differences. He's on some boat in East Hook, right? What, you knew about this? He's on the boat in East Hook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and we're working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now what? that I know where Dimitri is, I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burned down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again! Promise me you won't do anything hasty, cousin. I have to think about it. Speak to you later. The money could be good. The money could be good, but I feel like Nico. Nico would be killing Dimitri. Hey, Kate. I have a decision to make, and I don't know who to talk to about it. What's your choice, Nico? There is a man who betrayed me in the past. I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but it would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico. Don't need money. What is it going to change about your life? I don't know. It'll make things easier for me and for Roman. I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. Goodbye. Well, that was not helpful. All right. Um. We also have a shit ton of money. I don't think we need any more money. So, deal or no deal? Oh, 
Deal our revenge. Oh, I thought that was a little person. It is a knife. <laughs> a dagger. Et tu, Nico. Um. On one hand, I get what Roman is saying. Water under the bridge, let it go, get the money. On the other hand, it's Nico. And I feel like he would want revenge, so we're going. We're going to revenge. This is GTA. I mean, come on. We gotta get revenge. You gotta get revenge. Nico, you come to Liberty for penthouses, women, fast cars. Don't throw it away for revenge. Darko did not help, remember? Do the deal, and maybe we can take a private jet down to Vice City. I have a feeling we're not gonna get that much money. Like, sure, we'll get a decent, a decent sum, but I don't think we're gonna be, like, filthy rich from that. I don't think that dude has that kind of money. Hey. Ah! Should be illegal, I say. All right, Roman, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, get a car service, will ya? Shit, man, I keep going over it in me head, and I can't fucking understand what happened back there. No diamonds, no girl, fuck. Still, it was intense. You're a fucking prince. <laughs> There's a cab over here. This isn't helpful. Nico, imagine the honeymoon I can take Mallory on if, this, if you do this deal. Come on, do it for me. I'm your cousin. Roman. You selfish bastard. Why did you drop me off up here? <laughs> this is like the worst spot. Hopefully I can just hop this. All right, we got full health. We got full armor. We got full bullets-ish. Served cold. Dimitri is supervising the operation in the ship's hold. Okay. Zapakuiti this heroine. All these people are going to want to kill me, aren't they? The doors to the cargo hold are controlled from the bridge. Oh, this is intense. <laughs> so many steps. Find a way to get to Dimitri and get your revenge. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of shooting. A lot of shooting. To the bridge. These guys gonna wanna shoot me or what? Oh. oh can I use this crane? Can I use this? You guys keep telling me that I can use cranes to, like, escape buildings and stuff, and I haven't used one yet, so maybe I can use it to get on this ship. I finally figured out how to climb ladders. That's a win, right? It took me two GTA games, but I figured it out! Oh. Okay, so I can't actually use this, but I can snipe from up here, which seems like a great plan. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're just doing this thing. Don't overthink it, we're just doing it. him in the <laughs> this is not a great vantage point ah. did you 
trying to shoot me with a shotgun. Even I know not to do that. Cover me. How'd that cover go? Okay, who's here? Who's left? This guy over here. Oh, I don't have all that many bullets left. Okay, I need to be a little bit more careful with my shots here. Ah! Oh. Need to be more careful with my shots. Whiffs two in a row. Taste my sniper rifle! What's that red thing over there? <laughs> Die! <laughs> that was a delayed death! I have four bullets left. This is not great. <laughs> oh! Nice. I've got a lock on you! Oh my god! I'll kill you! Wait a minute. Is someone climbing up here? You are surrounded. <laughs> Time to die. Yeah, face me, cowboy. Wait, who's shooting me? Who's here? Oh yeah, they're climbing up. They're climbing up. I need cover. Go! <laughs> Come on up. Come on up. You guys are the slowest ladder climbers ever. What is happening? Is he just going up and down? You're pathetic! There's still somebody shooting. Well, now it's quiet. Okay. All right, that wasn't too bad. Oh my god! I'll cut off your fucking head! Jesus! Freaking spy mode on that dude! And by spy mode, I mean stealth mode. That's okay, you knew what I meant. I feel like there's actually people still alive here. There's definitely shooting. Might not be able to see them, but they're there. I think there is something red up here. Just wanna make sure there's nothing I can. Like, why is this red? Can I do something with this? Nope! Guy right there. Where were you before? What the fuck? Where are these people coming from? Having fun. Showing up on my mini map, that's just rude. <laughs> and just like that, all my armor is gone. That's okay. We got this. We got this. Take 
cover! Let's see. So many boxes. Shit. No time. Oh, shakes. Uh. Nico, shoot! These fucking walls are going to literally be the death of me. You can't go on cover in this game. The cover system is so broken. Why does that guy look like he could be related to me? Not, Not that guy, so this guy. Can I get some armor? All right. All right, no more. You're lucky team. I think there's gotta be armor somewhere on this ship. Right? <laughs> Sounds like there's somebody behind me. I'm just not gonna let him suffer. <laughs> it was the humane thing to do! Do a ton, but okay. <laughs> okay, don't lock on, just throw it. That again, bad time. Okay, now there's somebody over here. Give me the shotgun. That in a while. Ooh. Check these rooms, make sure there's nothing in here that I need. over here. Oh, he somehow died. Maybe my grenade? Don't know. Okay. Feeling a little bit better now that I have full health and full armor. Alright, um... Smile, my friend! You're dead! <laughs> I've got a lot. Find some cover, please. Let me friends with you. I will kill you. Locked on somebody. Thinks he's being sneaky. Me, cowboy. Screw you. Asshole. That was very intense. And now we have to go back. <sighs> oh no. For the cargo hold. Okay. Oh. 
us back out. I have to like wait for them to shoot so I can see where the bullets are coming from. There's definitely somebody else too. That's okay. We got most of them. Uh oh. The platypus! Okay, can't go that way. Nice! Almost missed that! <laughs> You're in mine too. Fucked with me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. The game is really struggling with this doorway right now. <laughs> is that not where I go? <laughs> I thought those things opened up! That was these ones. Okay. Do I just jump down there? That doesn't seem very smart. Oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely not the way you're supposed to do this, but it's more fun, so. Is anybody else down here or is it just Dimitri so down here? Now, I'm coming for you. Okay, that answers that question. Get the fuck Where do you go? Did he die? He did not die. on this guy. The game thought he was dead. All oh. Right. All right, no more. That would have been nice. Cutscene. Hey, Dimitri. I don't think I'll be doing this deal with you. We have other business to finish. Nico, it's been a long time. I thought your time in America might have calmed you down. America does not change everyone. Look at you. You arrived in this country, a spineless rat who would sell out his friends. That is what you will be when you die here. <laughs> I have your ship has sailed, Rescalo! Ah, I thought this would explode. You are fucked. I have been looking forward to killing you for so long, Raskolov! Dimitri! Where are you, you rat? They like rats in GTA games. 
things, don't they? I would oh my god, why is this dude still alive? Again, you snake! I got the pussycat Come on, Dimitri! Dude just got blown up by a fucking grenade and he's fine. Didn't even have one health bar down. This is ridiculous. Your ship has sailed! No, not why would you take cover on that, sir? Please. Okay. They have every angle on me, and I've got no angles on them. Hey, my bitch! Dimitri! Where are you, you rat? This is really annoying, I'm not gonna lie. A lesson. Actions have consequences. You screwed me over. Now you're paying for it. Shame that will be the second last thing that goes into your head. Goodbye. You're the one who's going to learn a lesson. People aren't going to be happy if you kill me. Blat you up on it. I've never been popular. I don't mean to start now. I should have put you out of your misery a long time ago. Goodbye, Dimitri. Goodbye. So there is a door I could have used. <laughs> well, jumping down was more fun. <laughs> That's great. Okay, we did it. Now I need a car or something. I killed Dimitri. It's over. He was on the platypus, the boat I arrived in Liberty City on. So it seems it ends where it began. I guess you did what you felt you had to do. No deal, no money, no hot tubs and models. But Dimitri will not bother you again. I will see you at the wedding, yes? Remember to wear a suit. I'll be there, Roman. Don't worry. Should I go get a super fancy suit? I feel like that's only appropriate. Okay, so where is, I need, Perseus was the super fancy one, right? Ian, hey, Phil, I understand why you made the decision you did. But what it's worth, I didn't trust that Dimitri needed. Yeah, well, I did what I had to do. Anyway, you and me can't talk no more. Jimmy's falling apart. The Pegarino ain't nothing no more. I'm out, man. Goodbye. Okay. That was <laughs> an abrupt resolution to that. So popular. Because today is going to be the happiest day of my life. I'm getting married to the beautiful Mallory. How is the best man? He's fine. You better be better than fine, cousin. Get to the church for 10 a.m. and remember to wear some nice clothes. I want you looking good for the wedding. I was gonna take that cab, but there's somebody in there, so never mind. All right, you, you better be open, you store. Welcome to Perseus. I'll be your assistant today. Open 24-7. Okay, what do we have? Charcoal suit and floral you, shirts. You are looking fine. I already own a double-breasted jacket. Obsidian suit. Ooh, that could be nice. 
That really suits you. Brings out Thank your you. eyes. Thank you. Thank you. What about shoes? What do we got for shoes? Shoes? Look at you. You've got it. Black loafers. Perfect. Can't go wrong with a loafer. We're ready. Oh, finally. Hey, Kay. I took your advice. I cut my connections with that man. I'm really proud of you, Nico. It must have been really hard to turn down the money and stick to your principles. Well, it was the right thing to do. Are you coming to Roman's wedding? Can you pick me up and take me there? I'll be at my ma's. See you soon. Okay, finally. <laughs> There we go. You're looking really nice. Shall we go to the church? So, how do sociopaths behave at weddings? We you fire a gun into the air as your cousin walks down the aisle? No, there won't be any gunfire at this wedding. I might steal the collection box if the mood takes me, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll mug any nuns that are hanging around the church as well. You know, it's not that weird to think that there might be some shooting at this wedding. Not only do you seem to attract ultraviolence wherever you go, but this was the church where we had my brother's funeral. You remember how that turned out. Yeah. That wasn't my fault. How are you about that? Do you miss him? I'm okay. He's still in my thoughts, you know. He brought it on himself and he wasn't a good person. When I think about him, I just wish that he'd been happy in his life. What would have made him happy? It's hard to say, but maybe the right person? Yeah? Do you think that that is the answer for everyone then? Maybe. The right person can make your life wonderful in the same way that the wrong one can ruin it. The problem is that it's difficult to tell which one the man you are with is. Huh. I've had some trouble telling right and wrong apart before. Jesus. After the war, I was involved in a life I felt was not for me. Those decisions became very difficult. You're talking about your criminal exploits as if they're a thing of the past. Well, maybe they are. I don't want to be involved with the men I have been involved with. I want to surround myself with good people, not bad ones. Recently, I have tied up a lot of loose ends in this city. My past does not haunt me in the way that it used to. I've tried to separate myself from it. And I'm ready to try to be good. Oh my god, Are this bridge is a clusterfuck. Are you prepared to say goodbye to the fast cars, the drugs, the violence, the cheap women? Yes, I am. Do you think that the men you've been dealing with will let you walk off into the sunset? They will have to. I'm not a slave. It would be easier to be happy if I was with the right person, though. How do I know that you're right for me? How do I know that I won't get hurt? I'll look after you, Kate. I promise I'll protect you. There's nothing else I can say. You don't need to say anything else. Is it amazing? Okay, little Miss Judgy, don't date us. Like, what? You pursued us. <laughs> get off your high horse. The relationship makes a little bit more sense since I took her on a couple dates, but if I never took her on dates, that'd make no sense at all. Okay, let's see what happens. Aww. All our friends. Look at you in those fancy clothes, Nico. Trying to upstage the groom on this wedding day? <laughs> let's get me married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yes! Yes, I did it! Hey! Oh, yes! Congratulations, cousin! Thanks for coming. All right, yes, okay. Ambulance! Call the fucking ambulance! She's dead! What? Oh, 
shit. Shit, shit. She told me to leave it. I thought I had. I thought it was over. It's never over, Aya. Nico, you can't blame yourself. Of course I can. She's dead. Easy, easy, easy. Are you better, man? Easy. Calm down, man. Calm down. Nico, you have to get out of here. Yes, go on, man. Go. go on, man. We have to leave, man. Just leave. Get out of here. Don't go. worry. We take care of this, man. Okay, leave. okay. I told you! <sighs> Poor girl. She should never have got close to me. We're in our original outfit. Fitting. So what would have happened if we chose the money option? Because would it have been Dimitri that killed Roman? Or would Kay have died every time? I feel like the ending would have had to be different or else, like... Shit, does nobody die if I chose the other option? Oh, God. Nico, be strong. Say, I'm going to find this bumba clot. You need to get some hardcore weapons. And Ting, while you're waiting for me, call. I ain't got my car or I'd bring them to you. Okay, so if we chose the money option, um, I forget his na name now, but he wouldn't have shot us up because we would have worked, like, we would have gotten his deal done for him. But then Dimitri would have still been alive, so I feel like Dimitri would have been the one to double cross us or to attack us. So I either feel like no one would have died if that was the case, or Roman would have died. But it wouldn't have been Kate, because that would make sense to have it end the same way. I one of that rass like Pegorino's man, see? He being in some building in a quarry square. We keep an eye out on him. Wait for me. I'm on my way. What is Roman doing there? This is not the place for him. You back him up, Rasta. I and I both be, see? One love. Of course they put me at the frickin' apartment that doesn't have a car in it. The other two do. <laughs> Come on, my brother. Get another car. All right, my brother. That blood clot been out of place. And I've been following him for a time, see? We think him next up at Pegorino. We're gonna follow him there, see? Thank you. Both of you. But I do not think this is the place for you, Roman. This is too dangerous. You are my cousin, Nico. And Kate died at my wedding. I'm helping you. Rot it! See him there? You have to stick to him, my brother. Fuck, we got a tail. Better lose this piece of shit on the way back to the peg. I don't want to be late. How do you know he's going back to Big Arena? He's been running around town like an endless chicken in a rasta. Picking up shit in desperate. There's nowhere left for these guys to go. The whole city wants them dead now. Well, I guess I'll be doing the whole city a favor when I kill Pegorino then. The fool thought he could be a big player. This man will lead us there. We'll get him, cousin, I assure you. See him, Bridget. I not be after him. We know a boy gonna live another day upon his earth. See it? It's a dead man. Dead man. Fuck with the wrong Rasta and thing. This he will realize soon enough. I love how good of a friend. Everybody is. Did he go down or did he stay up? Oh shit, I don't even know. I think that's him up there. Where the fuck is this guy going? Easy, my brother. He's taking us to Peg Arena. We need to chill. I'm not fucking chill. We're speeding down the highway at who knows how fast. Cars are coming toward us! People are shooting at us! How can you be chilled? You've been smoking too much, Jacob! Whatever chilled is, this is not it! You said you wanted the help, Roman. You said you wanted to give Pegorino payback, just as much as I did. I did! I, I do want to, but, you know, I, I don't want to die. I have a wife to think about now. I've got nobody now. <laughs> not a true blood. You got I.R. Roman, see? Roman just killed that thing. 
You know me what I'm saying. We're going to mash up this Ross clan. Mash them up good. See it? Roman, that's what you're feeling, don't you? Sure, sure, that, that's what I'm feeling. Nico, I want to get this guy. I just don't think we want to take any unnecessary risks while we're doing that. Roman, the last thing I want is to lose you as well as Kate. I can't imagine how I'd feel if I lost you today. But Roman, I will not let this piece of shit go. He is taking us back to Jimmy Pegorino. I should have known when Nico said he would protect her, but that was foreshadowing. <laughs> We could have just gone here the whole time. I'm pretty sure this is where Pegorino lives. Okay, he does not live down here, but he lives over here somewhere. I think. Probably on the opposite side of the map. You guys are like, no, no, he really doesn't live over here. I didn't have to do that myself. Hey guys! Stop crying and stay down. 
I don't know how I want to go about this. <laughs> Just like awkwardly not shooting and not talking either. Okay, I need some bullets. Thought I had more bullets than I did for this gun. Oh really? I had a girlfriend. How'd that work out? Why are you guys in a hole? Like, what are you doing down there? Okay, you can think that. It's fine. Okay, I need to go up. Oh, God, man. Come on, don't... I got an escape. That was rude. I got an escape plan for you. Keep your eyes on the sky. Say, oh God, we're gonna have to fly something. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Please, no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I thought I could walk through there. No armor. Come on, give me armor, please. Here we go! Where is this guy? I know there's somebody over here. I don't think that was who I was trying to shoot. Nope, that was. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me right now with that? Shooting the fucking wall. So dumb. <laughs> my bullets! Look at- look at this, look at this, look at this. They're hanging in the air! They're not even on the wall. They're not even on the wall. They're just... Magic. <laughs> Doesn't sound very sturdy in here. <laughs> I don't think I can go that way. You motherfucker! Don't think for a second that this was anyone's fault but your own! You could have worked with me and everything would have been gravy! I wanted out, and you killed someone I cared about. It's over for you now, Jimmy. Your problem is you like killing too much! What? Hello, pot, meat kettle. Stop giving me- Okay. What the hell? Is that a- Nope. Nope, it's not. 
I'm not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> Got that immigrant shit! I'll give 50 G's to the man that drops this fuck! You don't have that kind of money. You are going down, my friend! You're mine! Stay down there! I'm just gonna let that guy hobble his way over. Still not hurt anyone. I've got to You better kill me. You don't want to make Please. me finish you off. I'm a sick man already. I'm a sick man already. Fight me like a man. Come on, bring it. So long. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to get you, Jimmy! How? On a bike? What? What? Chase Pegarino on the coast. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. This is not gonna go well. Dude, you I'll really don't want to be here. You. Yeah! Don't lose him. I've already lost him. Oh, there he is. I don't even need to go that fast. You're not He's getting not going away, Pegorino! Oh! My bad. Come on! Shit! Now what? Oh. Not without me, you're not. Oh, wait. Is that Jacob? Jacob and Roman are in the helicopter? Why didn't you just hit me instead? Nico. Yo! Fuck you! Oh my god, I need to. What is this? Crazy taxi? I can't fucking do that! Oh my god. Oh my god. Definitely not enough speed for this. What the actual fuck was that? Oh my god, I type in the mission and the first thing is helicopter bug. Oh, please no. Two hours later. I'm getting out of here! Please, everybody keep your fingers crossed, your toes crossed, your tongues crossed, your eyes crossed, everything crossed. Why didn't you just hit me? later all right guys so um i've literally tried it more times than i can count my fingers are aching i i've looked up every workaround i can find online about how to spam the button better i don't i don't know apparently it's an issue because it was up resed or upscaled for the newer consoles and the frame rate doesn't match the button mashing i don't know something about basically you need to have 
infinity speed button mashing skills, which I just do not have. And I saw some stupid thing where it was like, if you go back and forth like this, I've tried so many times, I literally, my fingers hurt so badly. Um, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to beat myself. So I'm gonna watch the ending. I'm really sorry, uh, I wish there was a workaround. The only other thing I saw was that you need to play it on the 360 and I'm not replaying the whole game before this video posts just so I can post the ending. So I'm really sorry about that. I really wish I could play through it on my own, um, but the unfortunate reality is my fingers are broken. So we're gonna just watch the ending. I have it up to where he jumps onto the helicopter and we will watch through I don't even know whose video this is. I have, I have no idea. We're gonna watch through somebody else's playthrough of it. And I'll react to it as I watch, I guess. But unfortunately, that's the best I can do. So I am really sorry about that. Um, but that's the unfortunate reality with playing some of these older games sometimes. So here we go. Controller to go running after him. <laughs> oh. You immigrant piece of shit! Shit! I wish I had hit you! Nico wishes the same thing. You're a scumbag! I told you to leave me alone. I got the orders here. Me! You're not even on the commission, okay? You're not looking so good there, Jimmy. Screw you. What the fuck did she ever do to you? I wanted you, you immigrant dipshit. Big talk. You want to know something funny? Not really. Too bad. The commission? The old families? I know some of those guys. And they thought you were a fat fucking joke. Whatever. A joke. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Cousin. Yeah, you did it. Really? I don't know. What did I do? But we're done. Now we can start making money. Freely. I suppose so. We won, man. We won! It 
It's so nice having music. <laughs> I never fucking thought it. Kate, sweet, innocent Katie. I'm sorry, Peggy. I was there. I tried to stop it. She didn't do nothing to nobody. It was those McCreary men who were the sinners. We're paying for that ourselves. She didn't have to pay, too. She didn't, Peggy. You're right. I gotta be with me, Ma, Nico. She don't got much left other than me. And that ain't much. See you, man. It's enough. <laughs> oh See you, God. man. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How's married life? It's okay. Hard to be happy when your wedding goes the way ours did. Kate's death was very unfortunate. Nico, don't blame yourself. There's no one else to blame, Roman. It's my fault because I refused to do that deal for Pecorino. It's my fault because I got close to her. I shouldn't get close to anyone. You Nico. should, Nico. Stay close to Mallory and me. <laughs> we are your family. Mallory is pregnant. <laughs> if it's a girl, we'll call it Kate. Congratulations, <laughs> Roman. You'll make a good father. See you soon. All right, you guys. Um, so that was really unfortunate. Um, Sorry again that I wasn't able to play through it myself, but that ending was really good. Um, much more emotional and impactful than I was expecting it to be. <sighs> I hope Nico can find some comfort, find some peace now, but I don't think he will. Uh, but it's really sweet that Mallory's pregnant. And that ending underneath the Statue of Liberty, like chef's kiss, that was perfect. That was so good. Um, definitely glad I didn't have to fly the helicopter, though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> and to be like completely frank, it could have been so much worse. Like I was so close to the end there that in reality, it wasn't too much that I missed out on gameplay wise, but it still sucks. Um, that's kind of always the risk you run into when you play older games, but it, it stinks that there were, when I was looking up how to fix it, uh, so many people who had the same bug and so few of those people who were actually able to find a workaround. It's possible what I was doing could have worked eventually. I saw one comment that was like, I literally tried it 50 times and one time it just randomly worked. I just, I don't have that kind of time or patience or mental fortitude for that. Because it's not like it's just the final jump. Like you have to redo that entire shooting section. I just, I, I can't do it. So, um, unfortunately this game is going to stay unbeaten on my Xbox for now. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll get patched and I can beat it, but uh, for now it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay on un unbeaten on my system, which is just extra sad. But overall, um, I really loved the game. I'm sorry I can't have the credits running. Obviously, I, just, I don't have the credits. <laughs> um, so thank you to everybody. I know it's very very old, but thank you to everybody who put their blood, sweat, and tears into this game. Um, from everybody in in Rockstar um, and anybody who helped them because overall it was a great game. Uh, a lot of people ask me what I prefer this or five. Um, I think I prefer the story of this one better, um, but I like some of the quality of life improvements they had in GTA five better. Uh, but I think that's kind of just natural with a, a newer game versus an older game. Um, and at this point, GTA 5 is still old, but it's newer than GTA 4. Um, but I loved, loved, loved the characters in this. I loved more of the characters in this than I did in GTA 5. Um, I thought the story in this was a much more impactful, deeper story. Um, and Nico as a protagonist, I liked more than... Um, well, I really liked Francis in 5, but more than the other ones. <laughs> um, and I just felt like all of his decisions were more impactful because 
I felt like they showcased the toll it took on him more. Um, so I think I would probably say GTA 4, story-wise, is my favorite above GTA 5. Um, but I had a lot of fun with it. I know I bitched a lot. I know I complained a lot. But all of those bitchings and moanings aside, I had a great time. Uh, there was a lot of really funny moments. There was a lot of really fun combat scenes um, and combat sections. It was just you know, I always got stuck on a wall or, you know, silly things that were more of a me issue than a game issue. Um, but I, I do want to say I had an amazing time with this and I had a ton of fun and I really, really enjoyed it. I'm really glad that I played it. Um, I would like to play the DLCs, but I don't know now if that's possible. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, I don't know if you need to beat the game in order to play the DLCs. <laughs> And if you do, I'm not going to play them because I'm not killing myself to try to get the final five minutes of this. So, um, yeah, we'll, we're going to stick a pin in that one and we'll figure it out later. Um, so don't ask me about the DLCs because I don't know yet, <laughs> um, which is also unfortunate. But overall, uh, great game. I am curious about the other ending, so I'll probably do... A reaction video where I react to the other the deal ending versus the um, revenge ending because I am curious about that so I will at least have that video posted at some point as well um, and we'll we'll revisit the DLCs after I do some research because I don't really know if this is one of those games where you have to I like I had tried to do the DLC for um, <sighs> one of the Bioshock games, Bioshock Infinite, and I couldn't do it because it didn't save my file that I had beaten the game, and so I was going to have to replay the whole game just to do the DLC. And I, I, yeah, so we might be DLC free. So I apologize for that. I know I had said I would play it, but it's kind of out of my hands at this point if I need to beat the game. So um, I don't really know what's coming next. Like I said, I got to do some research, um, either the DLC or something else. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough, even with all my bitching and moaning, even with my bugs. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough because I did have a ton of fun. Um, and I felt like there was a lot of really funny moments and funny reactions in this series. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do. I never know which side it's on. Hit it because you don't want to miss whatever I play next because I don't even know what I'm going to play next. So hit that bell button so you don't miss a thing. Okay, thanks. I appreciate you guys. Have an amazing day.